A reminder here that coverage of the Conservative Party... ...cosines and tangents. This series has been specially designed for recorded use. Full details are in the notes for teachers. When the length of the hypotenuse is one, the side opposite the angle, or the sideways displacement from the initial line, is the sine of the angle. Let's collect some sine lengths. In the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. a vertical axis, and a scale. The sine of 90 degrees is 1. Sine 180 degrees is 0. Sine 270 degrees is minus 1, and the sine of 360 degrees is 0. The point tracing the graph keeps at the same height as the point on the circle. We needn't stop at one revolution. The graph continues to the right and repeats itself every 360 degrees. It also continues to the left for negative angles. When the length of the hypotenuse is 1, the side adjacent to the angle, or the central displacement along the initial line, is the cosine of the angle. Let's collect some cosine lengths. In the second quadrant, in the third quadrant, But let's turn the whole picture. Notice that the initial line is now upward. The fourth quadrant. A vertical axis and a scale. The cosine of 90 degrees is 0. Cosine 180 degrees is minus 1. Cosine 270 degrees is 0. And the cosine of 360 degrees is 1. The point tracing the graph keeps at the same height as the point on the circle. 
we needn't stop at one revolution. The graph continues to the right and repeats itself every 360 degrees. It also continues to the left for negative angles. When the side adjacent to the angle is one, the side opposite the angle, or the part of this line cut off by the angle, is the tangent of the angle. Let's collect some tangent lengths. In the second quadrant, in the third quadrant, and in the fourth quadrant. A vertical axis and a scale. The tangent of 180 degrees is zero and so is the tangent of 360 degrees. The point tracing the graph keeps at the same height as the point on the line. The graph continues to the right and repeats itself every 180 degrees. It also continues to the left for negative angles. For maps and charts, the direction north is usually towards the top. Other directions are measured clockwise in degrees from north. O, nine, O. 180 270 360 The church is at a bearing of one, two, four degrees. The tree is at a bearing of three, one, zero oh degrees. For graphs, this line is usually taken as the starting line for measuring angles. Anticlockwise, positive, clockwise, negative. The church is at an angle of 336 degrees. Or minus 24 degrees. The 
tree is at an angle of 140 degrees, or minus 220 degrees. A positive turn is from the positive x-axis to the positive y-axis. positive acute angle theta and its sine also positive. The negative angle minus theta. Its sine is defined in the same way and is negative. The two lengths are equal but opposite in sine. the cosine of theta. The cosine of minus theta. The two lengths are equal and have the same sign. The tangent of theta is positive and the tangent of minus theta is negative. The two lengths are equal but opposite in sign. Let's put all this together. the two cosine lengths, the two sine lengths. Increase the angle, same length, different signs. Same length, same signs. Same length, different signs. These statements remain true for all values of theta. If we try to measure an angle by measuring an arc length, we run into an obvious difficulty. The measurement depends on which arc you use. We could, however, measure the arc lengths in units which depend on their distance from the center. Both four units. Extending this idea leads to the radian as a measure of angle, but that is another story.
Well, in a couple of minutes on BBC One, a yoga demonstration and a discussion about the difficulties Asian women face in talking to their doctor, 